NBA player props here on prize picks for Monday, May 1st. Before I get started, link is in the description below to sign up for prize picks, or you guys can use promo code TUFF to sign up. 100% deposit match on there. Discord link is in the description. Main server is completely free. We also have the Patreon link in the description, where I do post all the places that I'm making on prize picks for each given sport that I do play. Again, not a gambling expert, not financial advice, simply just place I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully, give you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. But let's get into it. We got the two games here, Boston, Philly, uh, Phoenix, Denver. This is going to be the game two here for Phoenix, Denver, Boston, Philly, obviously the game one. Um, Joel Embiid's looking doubtful, so I'm honestly, I'm not too sure because... I mean, we've seen teams list players as doubtful. There's kind of been a weird. He participated in shoot around, um, so I'm kind of somewhat staying away from 76ers props to, until we get a little more clarity here um, on what's going on with Joel Embiid. Obviously, he is currently doubtful, so I mean, obviously, less more of a chance he doesn't play here. But um, I'm not I'm staying away from Philly props. I do like some props on Philly, but I am going to stay away from them until we just get some more clarity on that. Um, Boston, no injury news. Phoenix, no injury news. Endeavor, no injury news. So let's get into it. You guys I got two plays here that I'm targeting for today's slate. One play from each game. Um, yeah, this is not gambling advice. Just plays I'm looking at making. So let's get into it. The first one's going to be Jason Tatum over four and a half assists here uh, at home against Philly. Now, he hit this in four of his last five. He also did hit this. I believe he hit this in uh, one, two three, four of six games against Atlanta in those six games. So um, really strong performance from Jason Tatum overall versus Atlanta in that series. Um, but I like Jason Tatum here against Philadelphia. So in Philadelphia versus Philadelphia this season, he's finished with six assists, six assists, nine assists, and four assists. So he's had at least four assists in every matchup and has hit the over in this in three of four games. But he al we can also see they've kind of, you know, affected him being able to shoot the ball 35 percent 41 percent and 33 percent seven for 20 seven for 17 five for 15 so he hasn't been able to score the ball they've definitely limited him as far as scoring 19 18 and 12 points in his last three games all playing 36 plus minutes against philly so they definitely know how to kind of defend jason tatum and they kind of do make him force him to pass i'd say so we take a look at Jason Tatum um, against Boston, or sorry, against Philadelphia this season. In four games, he did average 12 potential assists and 6.3 assists per game uh, on 12 potential assists. So he made 47.8 passes. So 12 potential assists here for Jason Tatum, when all we need is five total assists, is what he's kind of averaged against Philly already this season. I do like this, um, considering he is going to be playing at home as well. We know uh, players' assists per game go up at home always and teams shoot much better at home specifically Boston Celtics who are you know primarily a jump shooting team and then we just we saw Jason Tatum in that series against Atlanta over his last six games in these playoffs playing 39.4 minutes 45.3 passes made per game um, average uh, 5.3 assists per game on 8.2 potential assists so I like Jason Tatum here in a spot where he's shown success against uh, Philly who does you know affect him shooting the ball and being able to score the ball does force him to pass also we take a look at the odds here he is minus 130 on Fandle and Ben MGM to go over four and a half assists um, also you know Jason Tatum without Joel Embiid being there I think it does help Jason Tatum um, obviously Joel Embiid is a plus defender interior there's not gonna be that shot blocking presence I know Paul Reed can defend a little bit but there you know huge huge presence defensively that Joel Embiid is no uh, no Joel Embiid would help Jason Tatum be able to get into that lane um, obviously help him in the pick and roll as well as he does have a ton of uh, pick and roll um, ball handling duties um, in that half court set here for Boston so I like Jason Tatum over four and a half again a player that has hit this in four of his last five and has hit this in three of four against Philly um, 12 potential assists on average this season versus Philly uh, I like Jason Tatum over four and a half assists again at, if, I'm not playing this if it bumps to five guys um, yeah just keep that in mind I'm not going to be playing this if it does bump to five I know some of you guys will ask if it does end up bumping to five but yeah I'm not going to be playing this at five so uh, keep that in mind there uh, and then the other play is going to be uh, Kevin Durant uh, and I do like his over 48 and a half fantasy score here tonight against Denver. So we saw Kevin Durant. He's hit this in three straight games, kind of barely hit the over on this 50.2, 49.2 and 52.3. But you got to keep in mind here in that game against the series against the uh, Clippers, he was getting doubled. He was getting doubled pretty much nonstop. And we kind of did see in game one uh, against Denver that they weren't really doubling him. They were kind of more doubling Devin Booker. Um, but we saw Kevin Durant, you know, there's a lot of single coverage on him and Okay, but let's get, let's get into why I like this play. So we take a look at his fantasy score game log this season against the Nuggets. Obviously, he had 52.3 fantasy points in that game one. Um, only played 36 minutes, was somewhat of a blowout, really came out with like six minutes left in the fourth quarter here. Finished with 29, 14, 1, and 1, three blocks here, seven for 12, or seven turnovers too. So he still finished 52 fantasy points, but had seven turnovers. So, you know, if he cuts down those turnovers by about half, you know, this should be well over 52.3. And all we need again is 48.6 tonight from Kevin Durant. 
take a look here at uh, Kevin Durant's fantasy score game like this season when he locks 37 plus minutes. Now, StatMuse is now premium. You do have to pay for StatMuse, which I will pay for you guys. Um, just I didn't have my card info in front of me right today to pay for this. But you can see here when he plays 37 plus minutes, he has a pretty decent hit rate on this. Um, again, I'm not sure what these are here, but we can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 of probably at least i mean i want to say he hit the over on these two as well so we're looking at like 12 of his last 16 17 games he has hit the over on this when he plays 37 plus minutes uh we look at durant um on the season at 1.31 fantasy points per minute player um you know in a must win game here for we're talking about a must win game here for phoenix they don't want to go down 0-2 especially when they did have a chance in my opinion in those first three quarters to win that game against denver we're talking about a 1.31 fantasy points per minute player um in in kevin durant and we're talking about if he plays, you know, 38 minutes tonight. We're looking at 49.78 fantasy points conservatively uh, for Kevin Durant here. But we take a look more specifically here at Kevin Durant in that game one. So in the series against, um, who, did they, who did they play? I completely forgot who who they played in uh, in round one. Who did they play in round one, guys? Uh, I'm blow showing a complete blank here. Um, who did they play in round one? Uh, I'm going to feel stupid to not know this, but uh, yeah, the Clippers. When he played the Clippers in round one, uh, obviously he was getting doubled a ton. We take a look at that matchup in that series through those five games, through the last five games in that series. He had a 24% usage, 24, which is to me extremely low for a player like Kevin Durant, right? Kevin Booker had a 30% usage. Kevin Durant through five games had 24. He averaged 41.1 fantasy points per 36 minutes, which is a 1.1 fantasy points per minute average. Obviously, he had Kawhi on him for a couple of those games, but then they were just doubling him the entire series. But in that game one against Denver, we can kind of see Denver's game plan against Durant. He had the 34.4% usage. So we take a look at that's a massive jump, almost 10.4% uh, usage bump for Kevin Durant from that five games versus the Clippers versus that game one against Denver. He obviously had a much higher usage than Devin Booker here, and it's 52 52.2 fantasy points per minute per 36 minutes or sorry 52.2 fantasy points per 36 minutes with a 1.5 fantasy points per minute average for Kevin Durant in that game one again he only played 36 minutes with a potential blowout in a much closer game I think Dev Kevin Durant gets similar usage and, and plays close to 40 minutes and a must win here for Phoenix obviously Monty Williams the entire Suns team want to get Kevin Durant going after kind of somewhat a, a lackluster not that he played horrible at all but um, kind of a, a slower start for him in that game the series one against the Clippers because he was getting doubled but 34.4 usage in that game one is which is what we really do like to see here um, and then we take a look at as well Kevin Durant he only had six potential assists in game one um, converting one assist so that was kind of a down game for him um, considering you know he did finish with 52.3 fantasy points only had one potential assist I don't, I don't know the last time he's only had one one assist here. But seven turnovers in that game one, still at 52.3. We take a look at the rebounding, 14 rebounding chances. We saw DeAndre Aiden just getting cooked on the boards by Jokic. Um, Durant's going to obviously be needed in this in this series to rebound the basketball here. But 48.5, just too low for me for a player like Kevin Durant, who you know, is probably not going to get his doubled as much in this series. Um, you know, again, every defensive uh, scheme is different, and I don't think the Nuggets are planning to defend double-team Durant um, as they saw Devin Booker and against the Clippers go crazy um so hopefully we get durant um, playing well tonight we got jason tatum over four and a half assists uh, kevin durant over 40 and a half fantasy score let me know in the comments below you guys feel about these two plays here drop a like hit that subscribe button and as always let's cash